Welcome back, legends, to another live event. Sorry for the late commentating, but here we are with a special matchup today as we start late between the legends and the Edmonton Christian Lions. You know, I'm sorry for being here late, folks. I had a little photo shoot I had to attend to, but we're here and we're good and we're on time and fashion. So we see the legends take on the Edmonton, uh, Edmonton Christian Lions today, and they're up by two already fast in the game. And I believe that's Munda already shooting a particular one. He's getting caught up on the stats and caught up on the lineups. <laughs> the second one from Munza is good. And Edmonton Christian's ball. Edmonton the Lions will bring up the ball. My apologies. The Legends have ha sadly lost the last two games, I believe, of their, se of their uh, senior league and their good one and a half pool. But uh, they're looking to bounce back today and get a good win as they're already up three here. Two to throw. Oh, nice scoop through. Just strong there. We just missed. We just had an exciting men's matchup that went almost to the overtime. And it was a really close game between both teams, but uh, uh, ultimately the Legends were able to pull out with the win. We have 2.30 left on the clock here today. And Lions ball on the side. That's number 12. Checking it in. That's Elise Vandenborn. A nice board by Emerson as she gets trapped down in the corner and stripped away by number seven. Up Shot clock at 20. She'll step back for a deep two. And it is just strong off the court there. Lions get their own ball, but she gets called on a travel call. I cannot see her number, but that's number six. That'd be Zoe Esser called on the travel call there. Good defense by uh, number three, Caitlin Liu on the Legends there. Able to step through in front of her and uh, force a travel call here. And that's... Caitlin Louie bringing the ball up. She'll find Reese Scott, just strong. And so Issa's able to make it. She says, don't worry about it. That's good sportsmanship right there. She's able to brush it off. And uh, Legends will set up for defense. Denishta checks off for Eve. She hit a half court today at the halftime of the boys game for a fire chicken prize. So shout to Eve. And uh, swing around the top with Lions. Number 12 will drive. That's Elise. She'll find seven. That's Acria, but ultimately boarded on the missed shot by Emerson. And finds Munza to bring up the court. And that uh, Legends will look to set up their offense here. Just tips off Legends, but Munza gets her own board back to put up a two, and it's good. That will cut the lead up to five here for the Legends. And the Lions looking to bounce back. It's Arika bringing up the ball. Or Air Acria. My Acria, my apologies. Oh, Akira. Akira, my apologies. Once again, that's number 12, Elise. Shot clock winding down. They'll throw up a deep shot. Just strong with the, get their own board for a deep two. Another miss. Lions struggling off the boards today, but Moonza stripped at half, but Eve trying to recover. This game's getting hectic, folks. It's all scattered across the Good D. Oh, nice block there by Caitlin. She's able to, she's able to tip the ball out of bounds, but I believe that's Legend. Yeah, Legend's ball. And uh, Harpria Gill, she'll check in. I believe she commented on the game before or yesterday. She'll check in for Emerson. She's one leading the league in jump ball force, I believe, as she had almost 11 the game I commented in last week. So, you know, pretty good defensive overall. She'll pump fake it. She'll go up. She'll find Eve at top. Eve will put a deep two up just off the iron. Moons are pretty good on the boards today. She'll put up another two just short. That's rebounded by the Lions, and number 12, Elise, the point guard, will bring it up for the Lions. As she comes in, that's a deep, deep corner, just strong off the boards for the Lions there. But they get their own board and manage to persevere here. That's number four leading the point. She'll get her ball stripped by Munza. She'll go up, looking for Reese. She'll stop and stripped away, but still Legends ball. Good defensive effort there by number four. That's Vivian, and she got some good defensive efforts. <laughs> Uh, okay, now I don't know what to say. Um, that's baseline here, so the Legends look at the drop of play. That's Caitlin Liu inbounding the ball. And she'll find Harpria. Harpria standing on the three-point line. She'll swing into Eve. Eve puts up a deep shot. Just misses the rim there. Fighting for the ball underneath. Jump ball. Good play by Reese Scott. She's able to force a jump ball there. And another baseline. That was Legends possession now. Another baseline here. Um, that's Caitlin Liu checking in. And she'll put the ball in, looking to find 
She'll find Munzo with seven to shoot in the clock. She put up a deep two. Just strong, but that's ultimately the board there by the Lions. Once again, Elise bringing the ball up the court here. She thinks the shot's gonna go long, and no shot able to get off there, and that will be the end to conclude our first quarter here. Um, ultimately, a really good first quarter here. Defense by both teams, you know, it's not too big of a scoring quarter, also not too small, so it's been a pretty overall pretty good game and pretty good defense from both teams today, as we see. You know, um, the Legends are pretty good at the defensive efforts here in the, in the league, and they're leading a bunch of steals for the leagues as well. And I believe a post was made by Alberta Canada basketball for high schools, and that is Layla Jabbar is leading Div 1 slash 2 for 22 points, point two points per game. And that's pretty pretty impressive. I mean, Omakao on the senior team is 10th in the league for points. He's also tied at 22.2, so that makes 44.4 points for uh, the combining off the starting guards off both teams, you know, and that's a, like that's almost half the points scored in a game here. So uh, I believe she's on the bench. I didn't see her play as I came in late, but I believe she's probably in already. I'll pull up some stats from Metro, but I believe the last two games uh, the Legends have fallen to Jasper Place, Rebels, and I believe it was a short game. I believe they only lost by five, and they lost to Ainley by, like, a pretty decent amount, but they've honestly been showing a lot of resilience, and they're putting a lot of work in, and... Uh, they got to win these next couple of games to secure a playoff spot. And ultimately, you know, one of the best defensive teams in the league that I've seen, for sure. So I'll pull up some stats here and uh, some news. I don't got much news. I, I was really underprepared, guys, because I came in late. But, you know, we have a minute and a half here. That's 30 seconds left. I believe the girls are 3-5, and five, to be exact with you. 3-5. and five. But uh, Mr. Smith looking to lead his team today to another victory. And I do not know quite the... Edmonton Christian stats. I believe they were leading the league, actually, in wins. I believe they were 6-0 last time I checked. I could be completely wrong. I will check Metro for you guys here. But, uh, yeah, shout-out to our, our coaches and refs today for helping out. You know, none of this would be possible without you guys. I know the refs just endured a pretty physical and uh, stressful game here with the boys' game as it was basically tied until the last two minutes. So, um, just while we're in here. But, um, no, a great effort for sure from Parham as he was able to pass the ball around and also from Jack Berry, and he's always pretty good at the point guard, able to lead the point, and uh, like I said, Layla Jabbar will check in. I believe these are the starters. Reese Scott, Eve Wolfort, Eve Wolfort, and Caitlin Louie, and Harpria at the four. That will be the lineup here for the Legends going into the second quarter. Lions get the ball, that's number seven. Akira, she'll look for a while, she'll find Elise. Deep to put it up off the glass and Layla with the boards. That's Layla finding Reese in the corner. Reese will drive baseline. She'll pull out. Oh, she has a little hezzy there. Find Layla for a deep three. Let's see this. Hello! Deep three from Layla. Like I said, folks, she's leading the league in points. And uh, yeah, she doesn't does not fail to impress. Deep two forced by number number eight there. That's my apologies, that's Sophie. And she'll find Reese up top, and Reese is not able to find it as Caitlin Lee off the tip. Good luck for the transition there. But uh, here, I got the stats for you guys right now, actually. Shreth Kona Christian is in fourth place. Yeah, six and two, so that's pretty close in the league. So they're doing, oh, it's not Shreth Kona Christian. It's Edmonton Christian. Edmonton Christian is, oh, I believe ninth place. Sorry, my apologies, they're one and six. And Legends have fallen to sixth place, so they're in the middle of the pack at three and four, so not too bad. You know, looking at this win, we'll put him four and four and uh, break even. I believe it's a foul on number seven, Akira. Oh, blue four. Oh, yes, blue four. That's, that'd be Vivian. Yeah, foul on Vivian off the Lions here. Yeah, I believe Layla went into the tip and she got pushed there. But um, like I said, folks, I do not know the stats quite yet. I'll check after this quarter or I'll time out to see who's leading. But I do know Layla has a point. And, you know, Legends are up pretty good and they're able to keep this lead. Harpria forces the shot up. Eve gets her own board. Good work there by Eve able to box out her, box out her uh, opponent there and get the board. She'll set up. I believe they're in a 1-2-2 two, two split here as the Legends are looking to play his own defense. And I think it's working. They're forcing the Legends out to deep shots. Oh, yeah. A good force there by Caitlin. Able to force the pass off number four. Vivian threw it out of bounds there. And uh, that'll be Reese Scott. Finding Layla to check the ball in and bring it up the court here. Like I said, Osborne, I have definitely Layla go up to two. Ooh, you don't see that, folks. The ball got stuck there. 
have to get someone to get it down. Oh, there you go, ref. He's got hops. He's able to get the ball down. Um, yeah, I don't want to see that often. I know that happened in the game when my friend went to go dunk it up on the senior men's team. He got stuck in the iron. But uh, shout out to our scorekeepers today, um, Sophia Vukadin, Parhamadari, and Brooke Lowen here. You know, nothing, none of this would be possible without you guys. So we appreciate you guys volunteering your time here to uh, come and uh, score keep. Caitlin Liu forcing a stop shot from Vivian. Oh, that's Akira. Ak Akira. My apologies. And that's uh, yeah, good defensive efforts by Caitlin Liu, able to force a turnover and an air ball. Reese Scott has also been, Reese Scott and Caitlin Lee and Harpreet have definitely been the most defensive uh, problems here for the Legends as they're able to stop literally anything that comes from that. Oh, nice one two step through by Harpreet. And she's able to find that dribble foot and step in up for the nice floater and nice finish. Yeah, fans, uh, tonight is senior night, so all, shout out to all our seniors. I'll have to get a roster of all our seniors in grade 12, but this will be our last home game for any of the seniors. Senior girls and senior boys, and you know, as we saw today, the boys' game was stands are packed, and it was oh great strip there by Layla forcing the ball out of bounds. Good deflection there, but yeah, it'll be the last time any of our legends play on the home court here in Grade 12. So you know, it's obviously a sad night for all of them, and obviously it'll be a fun night as well as the crowd looks to be packed and uh, people looking to cheer on their legends here on the home court for the last home court uh, game. But uh, ball retained here, but the lines up top. Uh, Lee's looking to draw up a play. She'll out for a screen. She'll find number four, Vivian in the corner. Just strong, strong off the iron there. And steps out of bounds. Nice play there by Eve, forcing her to step out of bounds there. And uh, Legends will double play here to run through. There's uh, 7.30 on the clock remaining here. And uh, Legends by 12, so pretty good music right now for the Legends. Oh, Harpria just, off the, just tried to force the pass there, and that was stripped by number four. That would be Vivian. Oh, and here we go, Denisha and Danica checking in for Eve and Harpria. Uh, like I said, Danica was injured for most of the start of the season, and she was one of the star players last year, but she's back, and uh, she's one of the reasons that the Legends also have been winning a lot of games recently, so look to step back and uh, we'll see how she can play and help out these Legends. Denisha just off the strong there. She's a little strong in the arm and uh, pushing number four, Vivian, so that'll be a foul on Denisha. I believe that's her second foul. But uh, number five... That'd be Emily, she's looking to check in here for the Lions. She'll find 22, that's Madeline. Madeline looking to be playing the center. She'll throw up a pass. Elise deep, two air ball there, just strong. But uh, recovered and forcing up a last shot. Oh, that's a deep shot there, but that's number five. That's Emily, she threw up a hook three-pointer there and was able to make it fall, but oh yeah, look at Layla. She's able to find Janisha down low. Good play and good eyes there by Danica, able to find her starting guard. But uh, ultimately that was no good there for the Legends and uh, Kaylin Lee looks to have clamps on that number 12 here. That's Elise. Elise over to Vivian. Vivian will find Madeline down low. Madeline puts it up just wide. Danica with the board and we'll find Layla. Layla looks to lead the point here up top. Oh, that would have been a good nice step through, but I believe she took too many one steps in that dribble. Who is number five for the Legends? Uh, my apologies, my apologies. Maddie Butterfield. Uh, I found it on my phone, me folks, but I, can, I was going to check the stats, actually, for... For the Legends. I believe, I believe it's either Caitlin Lee or Maddie Butterfield who is leading the league in assist. Oh no, they're fifth place in the league for this and did one slash two. Step back three, number seven, that's strong. I believe that's Sophie. That's, yeah, Sophie. Just a little short there, but uh, slipped out of bounds there from the Legends. Layla looking to reach in. Good steal by Reese. Oh, just out of bounds there. But good defensive effort by Reese there. She has no reason to feel bad because that was a good steal and uh, a good deflection there by the Lions but ultimately the Legends will retrieve the ball and they'll be looking to push a play here. 5.30 left to go on the clock. Legends up by nine, looking to make that lead more. She'll find Layla in the backcourt. She'll dribble up. Screen by Danica, nice screen, creating space. Layla just strong. Reese gets the board. She'll scoop around by Denisha, but Layla will pick it up. 
Another deep two. No rim there, that's just cut short. As number four, Vivian will dribble up the court here for the Lions. She'll swing it wide. Over at 21, that'd be Taylor. Deep three there again, just short. At number five, that's Emily. Layla going on a fast break. Oh, and she'll find that two buckets there. I've only seen five points from her, but I do not know how much she scored in the first quarter, so I do not have the stats of me. I'll be checking at halftime here. But uh, that'd be five for Layla. Number six, good give and go there with Vivian, but good put back from number five. That's Emily, she's able to get the board and put it right back in here for the Lions. And cuts the lead back down to nine. Oh, nice two-hand floater. Denisha struggling to grab, oh. Just a little high off Denisha's hands as she was able, unable to grab it. Good eyes there by Layla. And that'll be a timeout call for the Legends. I believe Mr. Smith wants to drop a play here. Legends up by nine going up into this timeout here. And uh, like I said, the last couple of games for the Legends, I believe they lost the last two, but they've been still pretty good. You know, they're three and four, and they have, uh, I believe that's, this is their eighth game. So they have two more games left to play, folks. So they have, yeah, no reason but to finish high on this top. I believe they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're seven. Seventh place in the league, and the top eight teams actually make the playoffs. But uh, if you're in the top four, since it's in the Division One Two split, if you're the top four in each div, you'll go into the Div One playoffs. And if you're top, if you're bottom, like under four to four to eight, I believe, in the Div One Two, then you'll go into Div Two playoffs. And uh, last year, the Legends actually lost in semifinals. I can pull those more stats. I'm just a little unprepared to get underprepared today, guys. I apologize. You know, come. I came after your game, so don't be mad at me. All good. Uh, where are the legends here? Yeah, legends lost in semis to actually Edmonton Christian here. We're playing them tonight. It's a little rematch. Only by two points, so a really short game. And Edmonton Christian ultimately lost in the finals to Archbishop at McDonald. So, yeah, so honestly, obviously, legends looking to bounce back here for another playoff spot today. Um, yeah, looking for looking for the rest of a great game. You know, we're only at halftime, and the lead is only nine points, but uh, looking to set up here back on the clock. Shout out to Mr. Ong, Mr. Zhang once again. You know, I give him shout outs every time. I give him credit every time because none of these live streams or broadcasts would be possible without them. Ooh, nice defensive efforts there by Maddie Butterfield. Able to draw an offensive foul, and that will be on number two, number seven, Akira. She gets the offensive foul. And... Uh, yeah, that was a pretty good play by Maddie. You know, planting your feet, if someone hits you and you can't control it, that's a foul on them, obviously. But Layla, top court. She'll find a dime over to Danica. Sophie just strong. Out of bounds on white. That will be, oh no, out of bounds on blue. My apologies, that's a Legends ball. So, good hustle there by Sophie. She's able to pick it up. Layla found in the back court. 16 left to shoot in the clock. Looking for a nice give and go here with Emerson. Emerson to Danica. Back to Layla, deep three, let's see it. Just strong. Sophie pokes it out of bounds here. Off Sophie's fingers there on the rebound. And that'll be Lions ball looking to draw up here. Good looks there by the Legends. They will define themselves. And here we go, and the Lions will look to push back against the Legends here. And uh, oh, hands up, but oh, number six able to get the ball off there at Zoe. She'll get the ball off, but the Lions are going to lead down to seven here. This press seems to be working for the Lions and uh, forcing a little bit of struggle here for the Legends, but Legends looking to be resilient and push back, and they'll find Sophie and Danica. Nice give and go, one, two. Oh, just strong. Danica gets her own board, just strip there. Number five, that's Emily looking to bring the ball up here for the Lions. She stops on time. Ooh, a couple two steps there. Oh, I believe that was a travel, but no call, but... Uh, Ultimately, the, the Lions will find their big center. Number 22, Madeline down the court. Yeah, this press seems to be working here for the Legends. Oh, a little bit of scramble, but ultimately Sophie gets the ball. In the end here, Maddie Butterfield will have it, the ball up top. Looking to drive, but she'll step back out. She'll find Emerson. Find Sophie. Oh, here, this looks to be a play that they drew up. Sophie gets the ball up. Yeah, good job there by Layla. They're the force of carry. You know, the ball got once the ball gets under your hands, you know, it becomes a carry. You're not able to scoop the ball. Same as same, almost same as rules as playing volleyball. You know, once your hand goes under, you're not able to pick it up. Once again, 
must finish or make a pass. Layla has the ball up top here. She'll find Reese. Reese down to Zoe. Oh, oh that's, I was going to say, my apologies. That is E, not Zoe. Oh, nice steal there by Layla. Oh, she'll go up and just make that one. That's two, two shots here to come for Layla. That's the foul on number six, I believe. That is Zoe. Zoe off the lines here. And uh, yeah, that was senior night. I think we're all out of fire check-ins, so all the fans are no longer able to get the fire check-ins, but yeah, uh, we were giving out fire check-ins, scarves, a bunch of merchandise and uh, products here by the Legends we're giving out here for the boys game. And I believe we're all out as they ran Miss Luck and Miss Grable all out of prizes. So I'm sorry guys, if you get any prizes, I do apologize, but uh, here we are. Number seven up top, swings it over. Oh, nice steal by Layla. She'll look to drive. Oh, no foul. No foul there. I believe she was smacked in the arm, but no foul there. Number seven putting up a weird, number 22 putting up a weird shot. Just able to figure it. Emerson fighting down low. Jump ball there. Good defensive efforts there. They're gonna get the ball back by Elise. But uh, that will be, no, oh, that's not Elise. That's number 11, that is Madison. My apologies. Layla, ooh, a little shimmy in and out. She'll put up a two, just strong. Eve gets the board, puts it back up and scooped in for Eve. Nice put back there for Eve Olfort. And she puts the ball right back in and gets set up on D. Here we go, the Lions get the ball and pressuring the Legends and a nice put up there by the, oh, look at this, fighting, oh. That was a scramble underneath the, the cube. I believe there was five people down there trying to get the same rebound, but it got tipped in there by the Lions, and the Lions cut that lead down to five points. And Eve just misses up on that pass there with Layla. And uh, Layla and Emerson will check out here. And Caitlin and Arpria will check back in here for the Legends. So almost her starting lineup, I believe, right now. And spin move there by seven. Finding Elise. Elise will dribble on the dime. She'll find number six, Zoe. And forces a jump ball by Caitlin. Good defensive efforts there. A lot of jump balls that are happening now. I'm right down to 133 on the shock, uh, 133 on the normal clock here. So that's enough time for both teams to get a uh, good luck here. And uh, like I said, that's the ball. Like I said, good look and deep three, just strong on like number seven. 22 will put it up a chief foul. That's Madison, Madeline. My apologies. Who ends in a two here? I believe yeah, that's Harpria at the foul there. She called a, she's called a push foul. And uh, that leads cut down to four here for the Legends. They're up by 12 at the highest, I believe. And she'll make both. The both of them, and that lead is not cut to three. One thir 24 left on the clock, so Legends find Harpria. That's a good, a good look. She'll find Eve at the high post. Eve put up a deep two. Just strong. Oh, Harpria likes to get the board. Oh, off our pre, I believe. So that'll be a Lions ball coming back. And uh, Lions looking to dribble up the court here. Looking to get one of the last shots here. Looking for a two for three here. That's number seven, swinging over to 22. That's Madeline. Number seven, Akira, putting up a deep two, just shy. That was Zoe with the long shot there. And uh, the Lions will still retain possession here. Shot clock down to 14. Kira drives in. She'll step. Lefty hook shot, but scooped up by Madeline. She'll find Elise up top. Back to Madeline. Pushed off. And she hits the fadeaway. That will cut the lead down to one. So we're reacting down to a really close game here. But Maddie Butterfield will take possession. And she'll go down the court. She'll find Reese. Reese will step in to find Eve. Oh, good give and go. Reese ultimately gets the ball back. Oh, my bad. Oh, here we go. So strong. And uh, off the iron there for Eve. Now oh, she'll put up a three, but just shy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure she just won the three-point contest here at halftime. So she's just getting warmed up, I believe. Number seven, Kira. 20 on the shot clock. Back to Akira. She'll dribble down. A little cross shimmy. 
She'll put it up. Rebounded by Butterfield. Maddie stops. Trapped. Harpria. Eve got to get run in. Oh, just out of bounds. Good effort by the Legends. They're trying to get the ball. I believe it just tipped off the bounds and uh, a little awkward there for the Legends trying to get the ball back. It was rolling in a weird position, but uh, 5.7 left to shoot for the Lions. We're looking at a ball. Oh, nice steal by Reese. She's got five. She'll throw it up. No foul there. Weird. Look at that ball. Just deep. Not strong enough to get there. That's number six who put up the last ball there at Zoe. And we'll be going into halftime, folks. I believe I'll be leaving you as I have some studying to attend to. But uh, thanks for coming out and watching. And I hope you guys can stay till the end to keep watching the game. And uh, we'll go into halftime. And just remember, folks, to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and subscribe to the uh, Legends, especially on the game day broadcast. You know, we do this every game for the Legends at home for volleyball, basketball, handball. And uh, I believe that is it. And we'll be going into halftime. So remember to sit back, relax, and uh, be legendary.
Okay. 